How's it going, y'all? Today we're putting the exhaust on the FDRX7. I've already got flash burned. A slip of the death wheel. And in case you're wondering, yes, it cut all the way to the white meat. But first, I'm gonna give you all a quick look around the car because I've done a lot. I've just been like non-stop working on this thing like every spare minute I get. But uh, I'll turn the camera around, show you the car, all the stuff that I've got done. Then I'll show you the exhaust system and explain what we got going on. But it's kind of cool to see all the parts I've been storing for this thing actually come together on the car. But got the radiator and the air filter and everything in. Which this is like the most expensive air filter I've ever bought. This is ridiculous. But that was the whole reason behind this setup. I think it just looked really sick. Man, it makes the LS1 look like it's supposed to be in there, man. It looks perfect. I love it. But I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen. We got the wiring harness and everything done up front. Got the dash in. Got it trimmed around. Kind of got a little... Some ugly cuts. I'm going to try to fix up a little bit. But it's looking pretty good. Got the gas release and the hatch release and everything in. All that stuff's like new OEM, expensive FD stuff. Makes no sense. Little trim for the tail lights. It's all screwed down. Looks legit. That's kind of what I wanted. You know, I wanted it to be as nice as I possibly could make it. Got the wiring harness tucked up, kind of nice back here. Very clean looking. That's what I was hoping for. Still got to do some wiring behind the dash just for like, you know, the gauges that I'm going to be running and stuff like that for the nitrous system. Got the two bottles back here. The battery's going to be going right there. I think I've already mentioned that. I'm going to be running a two-stage nitrous system, so that's why I got two bottles. And the way that's going to work is basically going to be running the same, same nitrous system. It's just going to be a mirror image on both sides. So it should look kind of cool, I think. But yeah yeah it's coming along awesome i can't wait um it's finishing the exhaust now i'm gonna throw some wheels and tires on this thing and some coilovers and get this thing on the ground and actually drive it you know with everything put together and uh should be pretty much i mean it's pretty much done I mean, in my mind it's done like <laughs> i'm so happy but like i said the, the only thing i have to physically buy or find for the car is i gotta get a front windshield still and I gotta get some racing seats. Um, right now, I don't know what style race seat I wanna get. I'd like to have like the Halo style, but they're very expensive. So I think the ones I want are gonna be like, like $1,800 for the two or something like that. So that's not happening right now, for sure. But everything else I got, I'm just gonna steal a seat off the, out of the 350Z, the passenger seat for it, just so I can drive this thing around for now. But yeah, I'll show you the headers real quick. But I didn't build the headers like I wanted to. And like I said, I can't afford to get the ones I want, which are the sicky ones. They're like $900 or something. But these are like really, really cheap um, uh, G-body headers for an LS swap. And they fit they fit perfect, pretty good. Well, not okay, perfect, but they fit pretty good. I had to extend the uh, steering rod a little bit and do away with like that little isolator bushing thing that goes right here. Because it was hitting on this tube. So... I just did away with that. It, it maybe I had to extend this shaft a little bit, but it looks pretty good. Plenty of clearances on both sides. And like they're just painted, but I'm going to repaint them and uh, just wrap them. So, like a lot of stuff on this car, this is probably just going to be very temporary. Eventually, I'll get you know nicer headers and exhaust but for now this is going to work this is tucked up pretty good um i don't think i'm gonna have too much clearance issues especially considering how big the exhaust is that jack stand is just there for uh to keep the weight off the headers but just going straight back going straight back and right back here it's hitting um 
Like I said, I'll probably cut that right there and put a, a um, 45 or something like that to get the get the exhaust over here and have a dual exit right there. But for the most part, it's coming along pretty good. Even if I have to, I'll cut that freaking that brace right there and just flatten it out just to give it enough room. Got a little dirt in the exhaust. That's kind of cool. I'm sure that would have flew out. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get like a quick little update video. Um, I've been thrashing this thing pretty hard. Just every little spare moment I get, you know, I'd run over here and um, try to get some stuff done on it. But it's coming together pretty good. I think maybe like the next video, you'll actually see this thing on the ground with the exhaust done and actually take it around the block. Um, but I would say we're at 80% complete right now. It's super, super close. I don't have the fenders and front bumper stuff on because I'm working on it still. And, you know, no sense of putting them on and I don't have to worry about scratching them and stuff. So while I'm doing, while I'm working on it, I'm just leaving them off. But, yeah, this thing's coming together pretty good. I'm really, really happy. Like, this, I can't tell you, like, this, just seeing all this stuff I've been, like, buying and sitting on and just stockpiling actually go on the car it's it's pretty cool this thing is looking awesome <laughs> but i figured we'll go ahead and give it like a little quick sound check since we i got like half the exhaust built but that's the main thing i'm looking for getting the exhaust on here and like taking it and getting the baseline and then doing like the cam i got put the cam in that's gonna be awesome let's see I'm probably going pretty loud with a cold start if it starts Door. <laughs> that was really loud. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I, said, I just want to give y'all a quick update because I was getting ahead of myself and just getting way too much done on it without actually making an update video. But yeah, I'm gonna finish the exhaust up. So next time you see it, the exhaust will be 100% done. Hopefully it'll be on the ground, wheels, and moving around. So uh, I, have to, I need a seat, but budget, I can't buy a seat right now. So I'm just gonna steal the seat out of the 350Z or the passenger seat out of the 350Z, just so I can drive it around and everything. But That'll be in the next video, but that's it for now. I appreciate you guys for watching, and stay tuned to see this thing actually do a big, fat, smoky burnout. So, next, next video, for sure. <laughs> appreciate it. See you.